All right, everybody, let's roll, huh? Very excited to feel game week uh, at a new place that come along. I think you feel like probably all the coaches and players do across the country on game week. Of course, there's not many of us this week that are, you know, getting to play in zero week, just a handful of teams. So, you know, it's that it's that you can feel in the air. You know, Cam's broken and your focus becomes on an opponent. Uh, and it's what we all, you know, it's what we all work for. Uh, it's a unique sport in that regard. You know, you work year round uh, for 12 <clears throat> guaranteed opportunities. And we've got one of those 12 before us this week. And so there's a lot of excitement. Or did you get to where you wanted to get to by the end of training camp? I feel really good about what we accomplished during camp. Uh, I think, uh, you know, to, to spring, you know, kind of piggyback off what we did in the in the spring and, uh, you know, get get our install done and come back the next time, the next wave. I think our uh, our guys did a really nice job in camp. We pushed them uh, from a learning standpoint. You know, we did a pretty aggressive installs through the course of camp. I thought our guys handled it very well. And uh, I was really pleased with what we accomplished during fall camp. What's, what's distinct you know to you about the, Wyoming? Yeah. What's distinct to you about Wyoming's defense? Yeah, just, I think they're just so well coached, and you know they're tough, and they, uh, you know, they they've got a system, and uh, their system is not necessarily altogether unique, um, you, you know, but it's they they um, they're just really good in what their system is, and I, and I don't mean that in any disrespect to their scheme. They've got a really good scheme. Uh, they line up and play really good, solid defense, and they adjust their defense. You can tell that they've been doing it for a while. They've got a lot of answers to the way that you you know do different formations or adjustments. They they're very well coached and they play uh, with the confidence. And so it'll be a great challenge for us. Here, I'm sorry, right back here. I'll ask I have over the same you. Question. Okay. okay. Sorry, is there an advantage with you being a new coordinator coming in here and they don't know what to expect? And that's I don't think it's a disadvantage. I don't know to how much of degree it would be advantageous for us. There's certainly always the element of surprise, but but listen, I mean, like, okay, you know, their DC, uh, you know, has been there for a few, you know, for a little while, but who knows what, you know, they did in the off season to study and to change and tweak, and so they're going to have surprises for us, and so just like, you know, they don't probably know entirely what to expect. Um, I'm sure they've had an educated guess on what they've worked, and you know, there's always going to be first game surprises, and and to be honest with you, during the course of the year, there's going to be surprises because people adjust and adapt as the season goes on. But, uh, you know, the, that's obviously the long, long answer to a short question is, uh, you know, the fact that we do have somewhat of an Elba surprise and them not exactly knowing what, what our identity is going to look like. Uh, I think it doesn't hurt us. You guys seem like you have confidence in this receiver room. What, what kind of do you see during camp to maybe even elevate some of that confidence? Well, I think our guys made a lot of plays. You know, we, we uh, um, a lot of guys grew in that area, you know. For, we just we just made some progress from in the spring, through uh, the summer work and fall camp of just throwing and catching in general. That doesn't mean that every day we went out there that we just were, you know, throwing around like uh, Eric Coriel, you know. I mean, like our, the, our defense challenged us, and we had a lot of give and take and back and forth, and but we did make some plays. And every every one of those guys that you guys talk about and that you guys know are projected to make an impact for us, they all had their days and their moments where they made plays, and so. I'm pleased with where we're at. Now we got to go, go, go do it against live action, and and, and we'll be challenged. And we'll and the DBs from Wyoming, they will challenge us, you know. And so we're gonna, we're gonna have to have to make some plays. Uh, and that's the name of the game is making the plays. Barry, I'm sure Brett will handle whatever quarterback announcement you make. Well, what did you see from Tommy? What did you see from Art during training camp? I, I think just uh, consistency, um, you know. And and I see quarterback a quarterback room that is, uh, you know, kind of microcosm of our offense and the fact that you know I'm. They're 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 learning on a daily basis, and that's always true. No matter if you've been in the system for five years or one year, every day is a new day. There's always something to learn and teach and talk about and grow from. And so, but I saw two guys, and, and not just them. Everybody in the room was were engaged in growing and getting better, and and ultimately getting more confidence in operating the system. Are you typically a guy that likes to have a script early on, or or is it not a big script early on for you guys as, as you enter? Yeah, we'll have a, a pretty good idea of how the game's going to start. Um, you know, I don't let that doesn't go like, you know, 40 plays deep into the game. Uh, but certainly there'll be some things that we'll want to look at and um, show maybe different looks early on and kind of gather some information as we're going all the while trying to keep our guys comfortable and uh, confident at what they're doing. Uh, so uh, each week is a little different for me. Um, you know, I think it's always about adjusting and game and. Um, but ultimately, the football game usually comes down to you doing you and doing it well. And, uh, and so that's going to be our emphasis is trying to control what we can control. 
uh, and, and play, put our best foot forward offensively. Coach, not to give away trade secrets or anything, but can you describe the, the uh, game planning process you know, from game planning during the week to how that translates to your play calling on, on game day and what you got on your play chart? Yeah, it's kind of, I think I've talked to you guys about, about this before in the big picture of offense, but like I, I kind of see it as like throwing mud on the wall, you know, like on Monday you, you kind of get a big wad of mud of that's your ideas and how you want to go about the week and you, you start throwing it on the, on the wall and like, okay, some of it sticks and some of it sloughs down the ground, you pick it up and throw it again and then you just keep doing it through the course of the week through, you know, ideas, talking through the line with the line coach, talking through with George and the passing game or from a protection standpoint and you start wheeling away and you're like, and so it, it's not a it's not a one day process. It is a week long process that um, that helps me get prepared. So when I get to Saturday, I, I know how and our players know, our coaches know, you know, ultimately how we foresee the game unveiling. And it's always going to be you're always going to have to improvise and adjust. Right. Those games hardly ever unveil the way that you want to. But from a base standpoint, they should. And so that's kind of how we go about doing it is to prepare myself is is it's just a process during the course of the week. And then ultimately on Saturday, you know, hopefully I put myself in position to, to, to be able to play the game uh, for my preparation during the week. It seems like you guys had a couple maybe heavy competitions on the offensive line at a couple spots. How have those kind of played out through camp? We've had competition in a lot of spots, you know, and not to be vague about that, Joey, but like just, and that, that's good. That's a really positive thing, you know. And so uh, I know some of the guys internally have pushed each other and, and and we're as far as on the offensive line go, and they've, they've rotated guys in there. I think we're finally getting closer to settling on what that, you know, that first that first series lineup will look like. And uh, but I feel good about where that group is at collectively, uh, and the work that they put in. I'm, I'm excited to watch them play. You mentioned the the guys that we know that could be contributors had their their moments in camp. Are there maybe more guys we should know at this point that we don't? Well, I think there's always going to be somebody pop up that maybe we're not as tuned into. You know, especially early in the year and. Uh, you know, when you're, who knows what, what the way the game might unveil. Um, but I think most of the guys that, you know, um, we've rotated a lot of guys in, I'll say that. You know, so I don't even know going into the game. I know who, you know, some of the guys are that for sure are going to be locked in and playing, you know, the majority of the snaps. We're going to rotate some guys in there, and all of them have their opportunities. And so that game could unveil a bunch of different ways for a bunch of different skill guys. And the bottom line is we need them all to be at their best on Saturday for us to be our best. Whoever wins the quarterback, what are they going to do to defend this offense and make sure it's successful this year? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, uh, you know the obvious answer is to do what a quarterback does, operate, you know, uh, communicate with the, the line and the team, take care of the ball, stay within the framework of the offense, and ultimately make plays, right? And that's ultimately we get an opportunity to make a play or pop a, pop a throw or, um, you know, uh, to, to make a big play during the course of the game. The play needs to be made, and that's ultimately what the position is about, protect the ball, make the plays that present itself. And it's not just on him to do that. It's all 11. But, um, you know, I, I'm excited about um, you, watching our guys play just collectively, the quarterback position, the running backs. I mean, I, you know, this is what they work year-round for, too. And uh, to get your first one of 12 right here before us, and uh, I know our guys are really excited about it. And as their coordinator, I'm really excited to watch them play as well. Wyoming, I believe they've played Tampa too for a long time. Do they remind you of anybody that you faced or game plan for last year at UTSA? Oh, I, you know that's a that's a good question off the top of my head. I, I've been so locked in on who they are. I don't know if I've really played that that game in the back of my mind. Maybe a little bit like Middle Tennessee to some degree that we played in our conference there. Uh, they kind of remind you know kind of more I, when I say that the more I think about that a little bit like just uh, they were very systematic in their approach defensively. And I'm not saying other people we play aren't and won't be, but this group in particular, they're very systematic. They've had a system that's worked for them for a long number of years. They're very well coached in it. Uh, you, you, you know, uh, you know where you're going to be, but on the flip side, you know where they're going to be. You know, so that goes both ways for for both teams. It's a pretty deep running back room. Do you have any just overarching philosophies about how to maybe break up handoffs for some of those guys, especially with a guy like Chase who's had so much success? Not really. I mean, I think you know we. I think that'll kind of come as the game maybe un unfolds and maybe the situation of the game and or, you know what what are you needing what kind of runs you're needing to execute is it a four minute type operation or is it two minute you know I and mean, I think that depends on sometimes on who who's in there and who's doing what but ultimately we want all of our backs uh, and, and I believe we I believe we're there we want all of our backs to be able to execute all of our offense right and um, and then when that happens then 
you know, it doesn't much doesn't matter as much to me when I'm calling as long as I we have faith and confidence in those guys to execute the entire offense, to let them go play, to let it figure out, let that rotation and that let that happen kind of organically. Are you confident that this offense can have the pace and speed that you want it to have and still substitute with as many diverse packages as you guys have? Oh yeah, I think so. I mean, I don't think again we've talked about this like uh, quite a bit. Like when we say pace or tempo or sure. whatever, you know, I think I made it clear that that doesn't necessarily mean we're going to just sure. try to snap it as fast as we can, um, you know, every snap. Mm-hmm. And we, we've got to build a, you know, change the pace up. That's ultimately our goal for the, the way we play the game. And so when you change the pace up, it allows for substitutions to happen. And so, yeah, you're going to see that. I mean, it, we'll, we'll probably be in and out of groupings some. And, um, and, and, and really, to be honest with you, we've got to see how the game unfolds in that sure. regard because it could look like a, a number of different things. But um, you know, so as far as uh, taking time to slow down and get people in and out of the game with our skilled people, that's going to happen. It's going to happen naturally in our flow of offense. Prepare this to be a full circle moment for you. Last time you were on this field, you beat Illinois, and now you're back with Barry. What will this mean for you to get this opportunity on Saturday to meet? Well, I don't really think much about it in the terms at all. You know, I mean, I, that's 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 long behind us. You know, in my mind, and um, I'm I'm excited about being with this group of coaches and this group of players in this stadium um, and putting our best foot forward on Saturday against a good Wyoming team. Do you feel like this running back room can be involved in the pass catching game this year? Yeah, I do. That was a brief one. I surprised <laughs> yeah. you didn't. Well, what gives you that yeah. confidence? <laughs> well, I mean, just well, practice, you know. I mean, that's ultimately what you where you gain confidence from is practice, right? As a coach says a lot, you know, your practice, practice habits become game day realities. and. You know, so what, what shows up in practice usually shows up in games, and I think those guys have done a nice job for us in, in that regard in all facets. And so, yeah, do I expect them to show up to some degree? Yeah, but I mean, if you watch our, you know, historically here last year in this offense here, they caught some balls, and where I was at, we caught some balls, and as we build our offensive <coughs> identity here, that, that'll be important for those guys to be involved to some, in some facet, you know. Barry, what's, uh, you've had three, four weeks of practice with them now. Like, what's unique about Tommy DeVito <coughs> to you? Well, I, I think um, that's a good question. I started to answer it before I had the answer. Uh, I think unique about him. I think what's unique about him and Art, and like Ryan Johnson, is just their maturity. I mean, like the other day we were kind of talking about just their their stories, and like I it, I was kind of blown away by like just all that they had been through in their careers, and not necessarily in a negative way, but just like the experience. I mean, Tommy's older, Art's older, Ryan Johnson's older. We got three guys in that room. We have a real strong dichotomy in our room. We have that we have those older guys and then we have the pup you know, the young pups. And and if I'm one of those young guys, like I am absolutely just gravitating towards these older guys because they have been through it. They've seen the best and the and the and the worst of this business. Injuries, coaching changes, coordinator changes, ups and downs, what the position so I think that's unique to to Tommy is just his experience. And you can see when he plays, he's played a lot of football and he's comfortable playing. Same for Art. So does that make him altogether unique from anybody else in the room? No, but uh, you know, just in the large scale of things across the college football spectrum, like he's unique in regards to his experiences, right? He's he's played a lot of football, seen a lot of things, and I think that's really made him into who he is. Last one for Coach Lonnie here. Coach, you need it. You're good. Thanks, everybody.